What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another trading analytics video. So SPY and the rest of the market saw a huge bounce once the uh, the release of the Fed minutes came over at 2 p.m., and we just saw a continued climb and push towards new all-time high territories for a lot of major tickers. So first things first, looking at SPY, you can see here that we've had a continuation of the trend that we've been outlining the last few videos, which is the higher high trend. Breaking through above a key level of support at 567, we retested 567, bounce from that, use that level as a double bottom neckline break to bounce and break into new all-time high territories that we're seeing now at 577. Currently during the after hours trading, we're sitting at 576 and this uptrend line has continued to hold very, very strongly on the ticker. And that sets us up for a beautiful blue sky breakout on SPY. So the market is gearing up for a, a pretty significant run, in my opinion. I think that we're going to see some continued upside to possibly test 585 and 590 on SPY in the coming weeks. Now, jumping over here to the queues, a nice bit of, <clears throat> of opportunity presenting itself as well. Similar to SPY, we saw the higher low bounce, but we got a significant uh, up undertaking today where we closed the gap at 493. So we finally closed that gap. We are trending a little bit lower in the aftermarket hours than we were at its peak during the day, but a close above 487 is very, very bullish for QQQ, and it puts me in the belief that we're going to look to retest that all-time high level at 504 in the coming weeks, similar to what we saw with SPY and its massive blue sky breakout. Now, speaking of breakouts, looking at XXX and the semiconductors ETF, you see here that we, have, again, higher low trend broke through the downtrend line, and we are looking to retest a key resistance level at 237. If we reject 237, we can see a pretty significant drop down. However, names such as NVIDIA and uh, AMD saw a pretty decent bounce with SMCI picking up some of the slack as well. SMCI also presents itself with a nice long-term swing opportunity that we actually took in our server. Link to that in the Discord in our video, uh, description of the video as well as in our channel bio. But... <clears throat> I think that the chips are going to have a pretty significant run up with a lot of gaps to fill to the upside. And that's going to bring XOXX up to the top and use this level here at 237 as a key level of support to look to close this gap here at 260 in the coming weeks. Now, following that up, let's take a look at Microsoft. As you guys know, one of my favorite tickers. We had a bit of a downturn heading into the early part of this week before catching support at 410, which is a key level, as you guys know, I've outlined several times. The Bulls don't want 410 to lose because they lose 410. 397 comes very, very quickly. But we caught support at 410, and now we're looking to retest 428 because we got a candle close above 415. I think that's going to happen again probably by next week. Um, utiliz utilizing the uh, Tesla news on tomorrow as a potential catalyst as well, assuming everything goes smoothly with Tesla's event. And <clears throat> now let's take a look at Amazon. Very, very briefly, Amazon closed a key level at 185. That gap was filled. And now we're trading in a range between 183 and 189. I think because we closed above 185 and we were trending, we were trending pretty heavily above that level, uh, that 183 level earlier in the trading day. I think that 188 is in the cards as well. You're going to see a move on this one similar to what we're going to see with Tesla and Microsoft in the coming days. Finally, taking a glance at Bitcoin, we want to make sure that we are keeping an eye on the key asset here and as you guys can see we saw a bit of a turn a downturn on bitcoin coming into today's session we had highs of about sixty four thousand about two days ago and now we went and retraced all the way back down to that key level at sixty thousand five hundred, and we saw a bit of a bounce from that six thousand five hundred zone because of that level at sixty five sixty thousand five hundred, it was able to hold itself i do think that there's a chance that we can see that as a springboard to retest the balance However, a loss of 6,500 on a daily candle leads to more downside and puts 57,000 back on the cards for Bitcoin. So in any case, that's what I got for you guys today. Uh, shout out to all of our viewers who and our subscribers who live in Florida or in the path of the hurricane. Please remain safe. Keep your family safe. I've been Trade Runner. This is Trade Analytics. Link to our Discord in the description of this video as well as our channel bio. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.